this is a weird feeling. You have actually got tears when it is. Hello, I'm Youssef and this is Bugface, where the world's weirdest creepy crawlers prowl and frolic across your favourite faces. This is today's crucial creature, ready to give a frightening facial to James Hobbs from James and Kimmy. This species of YouTuber is the male half of James and Kimmy, a YouTube channel known for Q&As, vlogging and challenges. James is fanatical about football and gaming and loves playing both. A committed vegetarian, he's also a champion of plant-based diets, just like today's bug. What's this? Flowers? No way! Look closer. This pile of petals is actually Hymenopus coronatus, or as we know her, Heidi. They're also the only animal in the world that play act at being a flower. Let's hope they smell good on James's face. Welcome to the Bug Snug, James and Kimmy. Woo! Well, thank you for having us. Like I said, I'm really nervous about this. <laughs> we'll try not to shake too much because these guys might see it as a threat behaviour. Fantastic. <laughs> thank you for putting <laughs> my nerves fine. at ease. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you know how bug face works, but we have to ask, are you totally ready for us to put a live bug on your mug? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Very convincing. And Kimmy, are there any bugs that James really wants to avoid having on his face? Spiders. So it'd be great if he had a spider on his face. That'd be amazing. And what, what is it about spiders that you don't like? The legs, the, the, the furry little bits at the end of them, the eyes that are wandering, <laughs> how quick they move around the floor, they're not for me. Now, all of our bugs are special, but we've got something really unusual for you today. Okay. So, it's time to meet the Heidi's. Okay, they're actually quite pretty looking things. They look like, like flowers. So this type of mantis are actually called Hymenopus coronatus, or as we know them, Heidi. And these guys come all the way from the rainforests of Southeast Asia. Brilliant, yeah, I prefer Heidi. It's a bit of a mouthful, the Heidi. first one. Yeah, yeah. See, before you revealed the cloth, my water was shaking under there. I was thinking, this is a big <laughs> thing. It's like Jurassic Park. The table was going, the chair was going. Are you not scared anymore? I'm relaxed now. I'm, this yeah. is easy, yeah. No, I've got this. No, flowers are pretty because they don't move. But these guys are predators, you know that, right? Well, you know, I can handle them. So, I do now have to tell you some facts about them, what they could do to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, firstly, they could excrete on your face. Brilliant. Nothing to worry about. Yep, no. Um, another thing is, they might grab your nose, okay. uh, eyebrows, things like that. Lovely. And then finally, there is a small chance uh, that they could eat your flesh, because they like to get out of the water in your skin. So, if you can, try not to sweat, because then they might like a little nibble. So, if I start to cry once they've cut my eyebrows a little <laughs> bit too short, they're going to be straight on them. They will, yeah. And on that note, I'm sure you're going to do absolutely fine and they're yep. going to love you. Yep. But I do also have to get you to sign this. Sign the disclaimer. Just in case anything goes wrong. Here? Yep, perfect, yep. thank you. Uh, and I guess, Kimmy, are you the next of kin? No, 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 not for this one. Okay, cool. Okay. It's now time to put the bug on your mug and let nature take its course. Let's do this. Wow, that is beautiful. Beautiful, but deadly. We've got some facts about the Heidi's on the screen above you. You've got to read them all nice and precisely and clearly and slowly. And the moment you get through them all, the Heidi's can come off your face and you get to win your very own legendary BBC Earth Kids Bug Face Mug. Woo! Let's go. It's time for us to infest your face. Here we go. So that's the first Heidi on your face. Yeah, go for the nose. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then on the forehead. Oh, I've yeah. got it to my mouth. Forehead's a good idea. Okay, here we go. So you've got the other one on your eyebrow. So whenever you're ready, can we hear that first fact, please? Uh, yes, we can. I don't know where they are. The female orchid ma... Oh, this feels weird. The female orchid mantis is six or seven centimetres long, but the male is around two to three centimetres long. So, huma, hymenopus coronatus. Is that hymenopus coronatus? Hymenopus coronatus. I can feel it, it feels weird. Right, hold on. I don't dare open my eyes. You can, ah! you can, they're not they're not near your eyes, Are you're you fine sure? right now. Yeah, you're fine, you can open your eyes. Okay. So the Hymenopus coriatus makes for some odd couples. Yes. It certainly does. I bet you're glad you've got females on your face, aren't you? Uh yes I am. So we can tell these are females because they have that green collar. Males would have a slightly more brown collar. Is it a bit alarming that my my eyes starting to water? We'll try and keep them away from your tears. Okay. 
Whenever you're ready, I'm you ready. Give us I that feel like next a pirate. Bite. So it's just near your lips, but you're okay for the minute. Which eye? Which eye? Uh, open your left eye. Female hymen opus coriatus. Oh, much bigger. Oh, this is weird. This is a weird feeling. Yeah, keep that left eye closed and open the right one. Okay, female hymen opus coriatus are much bigger because they need to produce lots of eggs. Oh, lots of eggs. Please don't produce any of them. Can we hear the next fact, please, whenever you're ready? Male orchid mantis are smaller because they need to be more agile and fl fly. Are you okay? You, you have actually got tears running down your face. I know. Are you okay? I'm all good. You're yeah. good. Okay. It's just my eyes watering. <laughs> okay, male orchid mantis are smaller because they need to be more agile and fly about a lot more. I'm moving a lot more because they're when attracting the females. You're doing really well. Well done. Thanks, guys. Put it there. Well done. Can we hear the next fact when you're ready? Okay. Orchid mantis uses its flower-like looks to trick prey to eat it. Well, I'm not prey, so please don't trick me. <laughs> they don't have to hunt, just perch on a leaf and wait for critters to come to them. Pretty clever, don't you think? It's pretty clever, yeah. Pretty good. They're certainly perched on my face right now. And that's Coronatus, James. Coronatus, okay. Yeah. Okay, brilliant, next fact. Yep, Heidi uses her modified front legs to capture and hold her prey. Please, Heidi, don't capture me right now. Okay, James, don't forget what's at stake here. Oh yeah, that mug, that's coming home with me. Yeah, babe, we have to get that mug, so come on. Oh, don't worry, honey, we will. We do this. We've got this. Kimmy really wants that mug. So you can open your right eye and then give us the next fact, please. Orchid mantis is thought to be the only animal in the world which mimics a flower to get food. Whew, God. Next fact, please. You've got to mumble through it. Nice and clear, we actually need to hear those words. Mm -hmm. What's that? One study showed that orchid mantis attracted more bees than nearby real flowers. It's interesting, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> They're definitely attracted to me. Can we hear that next fact, please, James? We certainly can. We used to think that orchid mantis hid among the petals to capture prey, but Heidi prefers to remain easily visible on leaves to attract insects. Ooh. She is easily visible on my face. That's all I know. She certainly is. Orchid mantis looks more like an orchid flower when it is younger. Adult, oh, here we go. Adult hymen opus, oh, there's one on my neck. Oh, oh, that feels weird. Adult hymen opus coriatus look more drab with long brownish wing covers. That's coronatus, James. Coronatus, okay. Coronatus. Orchid mantis can trigger slow color changes when they detect something new in their environment. This change isn't instant and can take a couple of days. No doubt they'll change after being on my face. Brilliant, next fact. Heidi tries to attract as many insects as possible, so looks like an average flower, but not a specific one. One more and this cup's coming home with us, honey. We've got this. Oh, babe, you've got this, come on. Orchid mantis are Elusive animals, oh, there's one on my chin. Elusive animals that rarely encountered in the wild. But I've encountered Heidi on me. Now get her off. You've done it, well done. Woo! I'll now take them off you. Yeah. Cheers, guys. It was a team effort. So how was that experience for you? Despite the tears and being unable to read, it was really good. I felt completely relaxed. No worries. The shakes stopped as soon as you put them on. It was brilliant. That's good. I was going to say, I noticed a few tears at one point. They, I know, I couldn't help it. I remember you saying something about that they like water or they don't like water. So the minute my brain started thinking, do they like water? Do they like water? The eyes started to go and I was like, make sure they don't go near it. But, but what was the fact? They, it was... Yeah, so they do like water. So they might tuck into your flesh to tuck get Tuck into water. your flesh, you see? I, I knew, I knew so, there was a reason. What about when it jumped? Did you freak out a little bit then? Yeah, when it jumped. Like, I remember you saying they could jump, but mm. th the last thing I could think of was, right, I've got to watch out for this one because there's water here, so he's he's working around here. I was just like, don't move, don't move, don't move. Next minute, -dum, flies <laughs> off. I was thinking, this isn't right. And what was the worst part about the whole experience? I think the worst part about it was the build-up. Everybody here saying, oh, you've got a big tranche, so you've got this, you've got that. And I was thinking, it's going to be something huge. And then when you revealed the box, mm. it was quite like a... Oh, I can do this. A bit they're of a just, relief. They're just flowers. What was the best part? The best part was coming out of the chair. Once you took <laughs> them all off, coming out of the chair, that was it. I was done. How did you think James did, Kimmy? Better than I thought you would, but at the same time, worse than I thought you would. No. Simply because, no, some parts you were really brave, and then there were some parts, like, when he started tearing up, I thought, oh. That's more dramatic it was, it than was, me. It was, it was the, uh, the insect that was making me tear up. That's mm. what it was. It was, it was <laughs> too close to my eye. How would you describe the sensation of her on your face? It's a strange one. You're not really paying attention to the specific sensation. You're just focusing on, right, there's one here, one here, one here, one here. And 
it's kind of like um, a little tickle, but a lot of it because there's a lot going on. Okay, so could you tell where each one was on your face? No, not, not a clue. And Kimmy, how much do you think James would like Heidi here as a plant? I think he'd love it. You look quite attached when you're on the chair. Yeah, no, we, we, we struck a good bond. I think you need the, the full set though, the whole yeah. band, the Heidi's. Nice little Oh, plant. you can have a nice little sticker here, the Heidi's. The it's Heidi's. a cute little girl yeah, band. Yeah, yeah. Well, congratulations, Heidi, on making it through Bugface. And thank you for exploring James's mush. And James, you did really, really well. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank and that you means us. you get to win the legendary. Oh, yes. This is what it was all for. Bugface mug. The tears. Everything, it was this, all for this. Is it worth it? Oh, definitely, it's, it's cracking. <laughs> Don't forget, you can see all of our bug faces, plus loads more on the BBC Earth Kids channel. You can even see Kimmy have a bug on her face too. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next bug face. Come back soon! <laughs>